Hello everyone, the 316 here with the year-end Dew Review, where I take a look at all of the Dew flavors I've tried in the year of 2022 and rank them. This year, not as many as last, I have 14 that we're going to rank. Now, j now a few disclaimers, uh, no kickstarts, uh, game fuels, or anything that's kind of specialty like energy or promoting something quite like that. This is strictly just retail, uh, limited time offer... Uh, store exclusives, etc. Basically, it just says Mountain Dew and then flavor name. It counts. It goes on this list. So without further ado, let's kick into number 14. Lowest one on the list, it's got to be Holiday Brew. Now, with Holiday Brew, I had to make my own, which is kind of why I put it in last place. Also, it's just a mixture of regular and Code Red. And while not bad, I'd rather just have regular and Code Red by themselves. If Mountain Dew do eventually uh, re-release this flavor, I'll give it another chance. But it's only down on the list because it's just two flavors of Dew mixed together that you can already get. So Holiday Brew, number 14. Number 13, similar situation, we have Baja Gold. Baja Gold tastes very, very similar to uh, Maui Burst, although this one was a little bit less... Uh, strong. This is a more muted pineapple flavor. And if this was pineapple and another flavor mixed together, it'd probably be higher on the list. It's not a bad flavor. It's just very similar to Maui Burst. So that's why I have to put it lower down on the list at number 13. Not bad, just I wish they did a little bit more with it. All right, number 12. Number 12 was actually the first flavor I tried at the beginning of this year. Uh, at least it should be. It is Spark Zero Sugar. It tastes similar enough to regular Spark, but I feel that the uh, aftertaste really uh, harms this one. It doesn't really mesh very well with the uh, Zero Sugar and the, the Raspberry Lemonade. I do like Spark, but it's gotten increasingly hard to find around me. So, uh, you know, if you see Spark around, at least give it a try. I don't necessarily hate this flavor. I just, if it was a little bit better, I would have put it higher. Anyway, not too bad. Next up, number 11. We're getting through this list quick. Number 11 has to go to Baja Deep Dive. Now, I do like Baja Deep Dive. I just don't like that I only have six cans. Now three, because I drank two of them and gave one away. It's essentially Baja Blast mixed with Pitch Black. It hasn't been confirmed, but it's pretty much blatant there. And it says, a mystery flavor due with natural and artificial flavors. It's a Baja-inspired uh, drink. And of all the Bajas, I don't think this was the best one they released this year. Again, I think this one falls victim to the... It combines two different flavors, but doesn't really do much else with it. So, number 11, Baja Deep Dive. Uh, I don't, don't pay active market prices for this one. It's just okay. All right? Like, if you really want to get it, go ahead. But it's not something that I would... Uh, highly recommend it was very easy to get too even if you only entered once they had like eighteen thousand six uh packs to give away so if you did enter you probably got a six pack all right now in joint ninth and tenth place i am putting voodoo four voodoo four was revealed to be sour candy uh yeah they just called it sour candy uh, i think it, they showed a bunch of different ones in the video when they announced what the flavor was. Uh, you know, Voodoo 2020 is still my favorite, which I should probably get some more while they still have it on uh, Donation HQ. Anyway, I'm putting these in joint 9th and 10th because they're so damn similar. It's really hard to tell which one's zero, which one isn't. Uh, I don't think they're bad. It's just I'm not a big fan of, like, sour stuff. It, it, it's fine here and there, but... I'm not going to be drinking this every day type of uh, drink. So it's good, but, eh, you know, <laughs> uh, if you can still find it, which some people still can, it's not too bad. So, uh, you know, if you haven't tried it yet, it should still be available in your region. Just, you know, hopefully you get lucky. But in joint ninth and 10th place, Voodoo 4 and Voodoo 4 Zero Sugar. All right, almost halfway done here. Number 8. Number eight, I have a little story to tell you about, which is Overdrive. I don't necessarily hate this one. Uh, the flavors, 
it's called citrus punch, but right next to the logo, you can see it's raspberry mango lime. I don't think the flavors are bad mixed together. I just think that uh, it, it's got a very strange, like, taste to it. Like, sometimes I get just mango. Sometimes I get a little bit of lime. I very rarely get the raspberry. Uh, but anyway, story time. I bought this uh, in my new apartment. Uh, I got it shipped to me. Never received it. I was home that whole day. It wasn't in the uh, parcel locker. USPS didn't even give me my item. And uh, I haven't heard back from them since. I guess as soon as the package is delivered, they're just like, whatever. So we had to drive quite a while to get this flavor. Like, no more than like 40 minutes, but still. Uh, I wouldn't go out of my way to get this flavor, but I still think that it's good enough to make the top eight. Uh, if you like this flavor, that's good. Uh, I don't think this was the best punch-related flavor I've tried this year, though. Anyway, moving on. That was at the halfway point. We're in the top seven now. Number seven, I'm going to give to the best Baja flavor this year, Baja Mango Gem. This is basically just a uh, mango soda. There's really not much else to say about it, but at least it's not something that has been very similar to another Mountain Dew flavor in recent memory. It's basically just a mango soda, which I have no problem with that. At least it's something different compared to uh, different types of dew. I, I do think it is the best Baja flavor they released this year, including Deep Dive. So that's my favorite Baja of the year. Well, let me know which your favorite was in the comments below. And we're going to move on to number six. Number six is the most recently released one, which is Fruit Quake. People are kind of mixed on this one. Not so much as uh, uh, Gingerbread Snapped like last year. This one... Uh, makes it in my top six of this year. It doesn't quite crack the top five because there's some pretty good ones they released this year. But Fruit Quake is not too sweet, and it's a little bit savory. I kind of like that in my sodas. I don't like when they're like super, um, uh, you know, uh, a sweet or a little bit bitter. I like them somewhere in between. And this one tastes just like what you'd expect it to taste like. It reminds me of fruit cake very much so and i would highly recommend it if you have very similar tastes to what i just uh, said there very good uh flavor so it honestly i've also had a hard time finding this one near me too i'm sure i can find it somewhere but i'd like to get my hands on at least two more of these because i have one left but good flavor actually uh, pretty good Christmas or holiday theme flavor. Still not my favorite holiday theme flavor that they've ever made. Bring back Merry Mashup, please. <laughs> anyway, that was number six with Fruit Quake. Next up, we're going with the top five. That's right, top five time. Here we go. Number five, Code Red Zero Sugar. Why is this one so high? This is one of the only zero sugar flavors that tastes exactly like the original. Like, if, I, if you put this next to the original in a blind taste test, I probably couldn't tell you the difference. It's that close. Uh, I can find this in cans near me, bottles, sometimes. So, I think this is really good, uh, you know, approximation of Code Red. I, again, I can't really tell the difference between regular and this one. It's that good. I can't recommend this one enough. Uh, again, I just can't recommend it enough. It's great. So that's number five, Code Red Zero Sugar. Oop, no, it was escaping from me. Anyway, top four. Top four, what's going to be our top four? I mean, I already know what number one is, and many of you probably already guessed it by now. But anyway, let's start with number four. Number four, we got our first tap flavor, Mountain Dew Legend. This was a Buffalo Wild Wings exclusive. Uh, I had this not too long ago, and I think it still holds up. Uh, it's very similar to Dark Berry Bash, and it's very similar to another Mountain Dew that I cannot say, but I really like this flavor. Buffalo Wild Wings food, I mean, it's it's okay. Like, I like their, uh, uh, what sauce is it? The uh, Parmesan, garlic Parmesan, or Parmesan garlic. 
anyway i good flavor you can get this in the like the the if you want to get this to go you can get it in one of those gallon tea jugs with eh, which is nice. <laughs> I really appreciate them doing that. Uh, so yeah, number four is Mountain Dew Legend. Uh, I highly recommend this one. It's really nice. It's blackberry citrus. All right, top three. What's our top three going to be? Number three was also a fountain exclusive flavor, but not exclusive to anywhere. Specifically, we have Goji Citrus Strawberry. Another story time for you. I was uh, traveling to family. And I realized, oh, hey, there's a uh, sighting of this not too far from here. And uh, we drive another 30 minutes to get there. And uh, it's all out. The syrup's all out. Anyway, I finally got back home. And a few days later, I realized, wait, there's another one literally right around the corner from me. And I finally got to try it. And uh, I hope to try it again sometime because it's really awesome. I really like this flavor. I really wish it came in bottles or even cans because it's that good. Uh, the, you know, the goji and the strawberry work really well together, and I'm hearing another a Mountain Dew banner. Just it works really well. If you can find this, I wish you good luck. It's very good. Cannot recommend it enough. But that was number three. What about our top two? There's only two flavors left to go. So what was my number two pick this year? Now this is not a new flavor, but it was released. Uh, after a very long hiatus, and was going to release next year until plans change, which is unfortunate because it's honestly one of my favorite dues now, and that is Typhoon. This is, I think, the best uh, punch flavor they released this year, as I was saying earlier. Uh, a blast of tropical punch. It is, I believe, pineapple, cherry, and an or no pineapple strawberry. Yes, that's that's what I read. Uh, it's like a pineapple strawberry tropical punch. And I think I have only one or two of these left, and it really disappoints me that they're not making any more next year uh, from what uh, the Do Drinker Discord has said, which is unfortunate. But hey, at least we're getting pitch black. I will make a video on that. And uh, I was going to wait till literally December 30th to see if I could find pitch black anywhere near me, but I know that ain't happening. But Typhoon, number two. Uh, this one was exclusive to the Dew Store. Really lovely can design. Uh, came back after like almost a decade hiatus, I think. I really wish I bought more of this. I regret that I didn't. Anyway, number one flavor. I've I've drinking this particular Mountain Dew so much this year, and uh, it it is probably my favorite Mountain Dew, even usurping Baja Blast. We have. Mountain Dew Purple Thunder, the Circle K exclusive drink. I <laughs> I can't get enough of this stuff. It's like crack to me. Uh, it is a berry plum favored Mountain Dew. And, uh, well, it's one of the only purple Mountain Dews in uh, recent memory that you can get very easily. And uh, it's my favorite flavor of the year. It's very similar to Goji Citrus, or not Goji Citrus, Mountain Dew Legend and Mountain Dew... Uh, oh, I just said it earlier, uh, the Applebee's exclusive flavor. Anyway, it's very similar to those two flavors, as I was saying earlier. And uh, like I said, I can't get enough of this stuff. I love this. It's it's very purple. It's uh, got a nice gray cap. And this is actually the Pepsi bottle version of it, which uh, I do have the regular version. But uh, yeah, g give me some of this. Give me some of this in my veins, you know. <laughs> it's my favorite Mountain Dew I'm not going to say it's my favorite Mountain Dew in general, but it's it's pretty close to Baja Blast. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that year-end Dew review. I look forward to seeing what uh, comes out next year. I know that there's a couple like Bomb Pop flavored, as well as two new Baja flavors, which I think one of them is like Dragon Fruit, and also a Candy Cane flavored Mountain Dew, which that's going to be interesting. But, uh, you know, their plans always change. And, of course... The next Mountain Dew taste test video you probably see after this one is probably going to be pitch black. As well as me having this new red background, which, uh, I don't know, it looks kind of harsh in this video, but I'll let you guys let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a comment on what your favorite flavor of Dew that you tried was this year. It doesn't have to have been released this year, it just has to have been uh, something you tried that was new to you this year. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. 
it helps out a lot. And uh, I can't thank you all enough for the immense growth that I've had this year and in 2021. Uh, here's hoping for a good 2023. And as always, peace.